today we're going to be doing an update on all of my carnivorous plants. So I don't actually have a lot of carnivorous plants anymore. Um, I got rid of most of them when I moved. Um, so all of these back here except for this one is all these are not carnivorous plants. I just have these here so you guys have something other to look at than a boring kitchen counter. So anyways, that's enough and um, let's get started. Okay, so the first plant we're going to talk about is a Drosera spatulata. Um, it, it, it's producing a flower spike right here. And I've heard that the flowers could be like a purple color or a pink color. Um, I don't really know which color the flowers on these are going to be. But when it blooms, I plan to uh, plant the seeds. So this plant has done very good. It's producing um, a lot of new leaves. It's actually gotten quite taller too. It also has some basil shoots going off, and it's catching a lot of bugs, which is good because um, the um, gnats and stuff really like to attack my orchids, and that's not good. So this plant is really good at getting rid of those. Oh, Tillandsia fell out. Okay, so the next plant we're going to talk about. Well, I should be saying plants, and um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys about these, but this is my Nepenthe seed project. And as you can see, it has been a massive success. Um, all of the seeds I planted in here grew. Well, not all of them. There were about one or two that didn't grow, but I think those are going to germinate soon. So I, um, I've actually lost count of how many plants I have in here. I'll count again um, after the video, and I'll put that in a pinned comment. So they all grew... Um, some of them are bigger than others, some of them are smaller than others, and they're doing very well. Um, every now and then, well not every now and then, every month or two, I'll go in here with some all-purpose plant fertilizer um, mixed with about some, mixed with some water. I don't know the exact amount, I just put a little bit of water in, and I spray it on the plants, and it seems to make them grow faster. So that's enough for the seedlings, and... Now, we're going to talk about this plant right here, which you have definitely seen before. This was my Nepenthes um, St. Mercury. It's a hybrid, and it's produced this really um, beautiful pitcher. It kind of looks like a pitcher from a Nepenthes aleta plant, but it isn't, and that's why I like it. So you can see the um, uh, peristome is its actually not its full color yet. Every day it gets a darker, darker shade of red. But the uh, body of the pitcher is really colorful, and um, I think that's the color it'll stay. So it's producing a new leaf, and I'll get another pitcher soon. So that plant has been doing really good. Now let's talk about this plant right here. So this is my Nepenthes ventricosa, and it's been doing very good. It's produced um, a lot of new pitchers, and they're really big too. So here's two of them, they're pretty big. And here is my Nepenthes Maxima cross Fusca cross Alata. So it's produced one pitcher, but it's like hiding in there. And it's going to produce another, which has actually started opening. So I'm going to separate this plant um, from the pot pretty soon, because I don't want the roots of this plant to get entangled with the roots of the Nepenthes Vetricosa and make it impossible to remove. Oh, so here's another pitcher. This one's the biggest pitcher on the plant right now. It's pretty good. And um, this basil right here has actually started to produce bigger and bigger leaves. And the spaces between them are getting larger, so maybe it'll start vining very soon. Okay, now we're going to talk about this one. I can untangle it. So this one is a Nepenthes Diana. It's um, a hybrid between Nepenthes, um, I actually don't remember the hybrid names. Oh, it's on the name tag. So it's a hybrid between Nepenthes Ampullaria, Nepenthes Ventricosa, Nepenthes um, Alata, and some other Nepenthes name, which I actually don't know how to pronounce. So here it is, it's producing bigger and bigger pitchers every day. Here's this one right here. 
this one right here, which is pretty good. But this one is going to be the biggest on the plant so far. Ever since I put this outside, it's been doing really good, and it's produced a bigger leaf right here. So that plant's been doing good. And I'm going to move everything out of the way so I can show you um, this plant. Okay, so here it is. This is a Nepenthes ventrata. This is not the original Nepenthes ventrata that I had. This is a new one. I bought one. And um, all the pitchers at the moment are dying. This one right here is a brand new pitcher. But it's produced by one of the basal shoots at the base of the plant. So um, uh, that one is also growing very, very fast. It's growing, I'd say, about three times faster than the one I originally had. It's probably because I keep it outside. So that's enough for the Nepenthes and all my other carnivorous plants. And I do actually want to show you a few orchids because I promised some of my viewers that I would. Okay, so I'm going to show you the orchids that I promised um, some of you I'd show. So right here, if I can get it out is the Oncidium Sigmorchus orchid, and it has bloomed. So here's what the flower looks like. It's a, it's a nice yellow flower, and it um, does have a fragrance, but it's really hard to explain the uh, smell. I can't really explain it. And here is another one that I want to uh, show you. So this is a Harrelia Retrocala orchid, and I completely butchered that name. So here it is, no flowers yet. There is a bud here that'll open soon. And there is one more that um, I actually, well, two more that I do want to show you, and no one asked me to show you these. So this is a Cattleya orchid. I bought it out of all places Walmart, and it did have a snail problem, but I got rid of all the snails, and I put it into this um, uh, container, which isn't really a pot, but it looks nice. And so hopefully it does better. And this one is a mini Phalaenopsis, which I've rescued from Walmart. Um, it was on sale. I only bought this for about 98 cents because the flowers were starting to fall off. And it was a little dehydrated when I got it. You can see it, how the leaves are kind of wrinkled. But um, it's doing better now. So anyway, uh, that's all the stuff I wanted to show you. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If you're new to this channel, um, check out my channel trailer and my new visitors playlist. See you in the next video, and goodbye.